you know, Jason Whitlock talked about this yesterday. I, I, I really don't have anything against Isaiah Thomas. I'm just, I'm kind of a, I've, and I've said this for years and years, even with the NFL draft and recruiting, if you line up everybody, I'm always going to take the bigger athlete. I'm just going to always do it. That's just, in the draft this year, there's Roquan Smith as a linebacker for Georgia. I like him, but he's small. Like, if there was another linebacker that was bigger, I, I tend to take the bigger. I'll give you an example. The Lakers have Brandon Ingram. He wears skinny jeans. He's hurt a lot. Like, like it does worry me that Brandon Ingram is really slight. It worries me that RG3 had abs. I don't want my quarterback to have abs. I like him to have a little pudding. Big Ben. Cam Newton. I, I, I don't want my quarterback to be ripped. You know, I, I don't want my quarterback to be lean. I wish Jared Goff was a little heavier. I like that Andrew Luck's a little puffy and that Cam's thick and the big ba- I wish Matt Ryan was a little heavier. And so, you know, the Isaiah Thomas thing is interesting. Whitlock thinks Isaiah Thomas's time in Boston actually cost him big money. The Boston Celtics ruined Isaiah Thomas's career. He's never going to get that money that he thought he was going to get as a potential max player. He played in Boston uh, with an injured hip instead of sitting out and taking care of his body, and his career will never be the same. He thought, and I'm sure he was led to believe, oh, we're going to back the Brinks truck. He said that. They're going to take care of you. They're going to back the Brinks truck. And what he didn't know was they was going to back it all the way up over (laughs) him (laughs) and ship him over to Cleveland. Yeah, I mean, listen – Here's the thing, for the people that feel bad for Isaiah Thomas that he never got the big money, just take a deep breath and think about this. So he played in Sacramento, good, not great player. Played in Phoenix, good, not great player. Played in Cleveland, good, not great player. Played for the Lakers, good, not great player. Played in Boston, briefly great player. Does it sound like a max money guy? Don't root in sports for marginal players to get great money. Do you want your franchise to be trapped paying a good player great money? Sports is really easy to figure out. If you're a fan, root for Aaron Judge to make a fortune. Because even baseball has a salary cap. Oh, it's not like hockey, the NFL, and the NBA salary cap. But baseball has such a severe tax, luxury tax, that it's really among owners considered a salary cap. Even the Yankees now, you know, are are more judicious financially. And so all these leagues have salary caps. What you what you want to do in sports is your mediocre players make mediocre money, your good players make good money, and your stars make great money. That's what you want. Isaiah Thomas, don't feel bad for him. He's a good player. He's not a great player. You don't want him to make great money. You can root for him if you love him as a guy. I get that. And I get Isaiah wanting great money. But as a fan, root for your favorite team to have flexibility. If you're paying Isaiah Thomas a fortune, your team will not have flexibility. Your star player doesn't care about you. He's driving a Maserati and lives in a mansion. He doesn't care about you. Okay, so what you should care about is not the individual player's wealth, but your franchise's ability to move in and out of good trades, bad trades, injuries, nimble, flexible. Isaiah Thomas should be well compensated, not absurdly compensated. He's not LeBron. He's not Kyrie Irving. He's not Steph Curry, Durant. He's not, frankly, to me, Clay Thompson. He's not Kevin Love. He's not Draymond Green. He's Isaiah Thomas. And yes, he is 5'8". Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.